Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Aries for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Aries, please, for their highest and greatest good. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, your person showing up as the Three of Pentacles, okay. They're viewing you as the Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. What you're not seeing is the King of Wands, and we have the Ten of Swords. All right, interesting. So we have the Nine of Wands energy in reverse. You have somebody here who's letting down their guard. Now, of course, this could be you. It could be your person. But what I see here is your person is definitely spying on you, checking you out. Now, maybe that's online. Maybe you work with this person or you see them out in the community somewhere, you know, Home Depot. It could be, you know, your favorite bar, restaurant, club, cafe, a friend of a friend. It could be many different things here. But what I'm seeing is that this person is wants to get underneath your walls and your barriers. They want to get to know you. They want to move things along. This person wants to talk. All right. Now, it, one of you, though, has experienced some sort of heartbreak, some sort of very recent like divorce or separation, possibly because, you know, you were dealing with or they were dealing with a player here. So mm, let's see. The Page of Swords tells me you definitely have a message or maybe an invitation to go out for drinks or for dinner or for lunch or something like that. All right. Mm, this person wants to invest in you, Aries. They see you as somebody who always looks good, um, takes good care of themselves, you know, takes good care of their finances, their house, their home. Um, this is some, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is, is patiently waiting, but she's, you know, not going to just jump on the first thing that comes, you know, comes her way. So I definitely feel this person sees you as somebody serious, somebody who's definitely worth investing in. Again, you might see this person that way. Wow, Gemini energy, the lovers. So this is definitely a divine connection with the lovers card. It tells me, again, soulmates, possibly twin flames here. But um, somebody could have just Gemini in their chart. But what I'm seeing here is there's a very, very strong physical attraction. Um, and there's a, you know, there's a duality here. You two complement each other really well. And your person feels that way for sure because they are showing up as the three of pentacles. All right, so let's see. They're showing up as the three of pentacles. Yep, this person's ready to move things forward. Interesting. Now, for some of you, though, I do want you to be aware that this person may have an ex who's still around them who may cause some drama here, okay, that may be or was blocking forward movement. Like if this is a connection that wasn't able to get off the ground, it could be because there was some sort of interference here with this queen of wands in reverse, I feel like your person sees you as compatible Aries. They're ready to go, but there's a warning here. There's a warning here that they have an ex that's bringing a lot of drama that may, even if they find out they're going out with you or talking to anybody else, you know, they're just going to be, you know, try to blow up this person, try to sabotage the connection. And when I mean blow up this person, I don't mean, you know, physical violence. And I definitely don't condone any physical violence on this channel. But I mean, like try to maybe like post pictures that they're still together or just like, you know, post compromising information. OK, things like that. So just be aware. Just be aware there's some drama around this person and it has to do with a breakup or a divorce. Aries, of course, it could be an ex of yours. OK, and your person may be aware of that. But I still think they're seeing you as this ace of pentacles. So they definitely see. Mm hmm. They definitely see this connection moving forward. This person may know that you're waiting for them to end something or they're waiting for you to end something here so that they can, you know, have this new beginning with you. They see something solid and secure and stable. Yeah. And this person sees that you're definitely worth fighting for. Um, but there is a heaviness here. You know, there's a heaviness here. Maybe this person is going to tell you like, hey, look, you know, I do have somebody who, you know, around me that I used to deal with or I was married to, you know, that, you know, tends to bring me drama or will try to sabotage this connection. So just just be aware of that. And of course, that could be on your side, Aries, as well. But they see you as somebody 
worth fighting for. They want to advance um, this connection. They want to move forward. But they do see Ten of Wands. They see you as very hardworking and that you have a lot of responsibilities. So they might be a little bit worried that you're not, um, you know, you're not in a place to make some sort of commitment. They are coming rushing towards you, okay? But you definitely have somebody who's nervous to tell you or to talk about whatever this drama is that's around them. I don't feel like this person's a player though. I kind of feel like this is a connection that they've ended. Maybe they still have a business with this person or they share assets with this person. It can also be that, you know, this is someone, um, you know, they have children with or something like that. It feels like they still have to deal with this person. And I think they're nervous. I think they're nervous. I think they're also worried that, you know, this will or can sabotage their connection with you or even not even allow this connection to get off the ground. So we see this 10 of swords and we see the eight of wands moving on. All right, and we have the page of swords coming out again. So you definitely have, and again, Aries, I would be aware that this person's ex or, sorry, this person, yes, this person's ex or whatever this queen of wands and reverse energy is around them, it keeps tabs on them, knows what they're doing, will try to find out if they're dating or they're seeing anyone. So I do feel that you might have an energy spying on you. Um, but mostly I feel like this person is ready to talk. They want to talk. I, I think they're really, really worried that this is going to end in disappointment or that you're not going to want to deal with them, um, that this is going to, you know, that you're going to end things with them and just move forward. Now, of course, some of my Aries, you might. It's really important to protect our energy and be aware of what it is we're inviting into our lives, okay? But for others of you, I just see that whoever this Queen of Wands energy in reverse is in your person's energy is most likely the one who's going to be disappointed, you know, if and when you decide to let this person in and move things forward here. So let's see what spirit wants you to know about this connection or about this person. Okay, heart with a key. So this person feels like you have the key to their heart and getting together has been perfect, but I feel like there ha there's like an uncomfortable conversation or confession coming up. Um... Yeah, a lot of you, this person's looking for stability and security. They do see that with you, all right? Again, this person may still be married, but I don't feel like they're married and like living with this person. For some of you, uh, for some of you, they're, they're waiting on the divorce to go through. I do feel that, that their person that they're divorcing or separated from is not making that easy for them. And some of you, you you've started off as friends or maybe even colleagues. Um, but what I'm seeing here is that um, you know, maybe things have really developed because of that. Okay. Sorry about that, Aries, a little interruption here. So again, for some of you, I'm, I'm seeing two people who are getting closer to one another, like in a work environment or, you know, in, in some sort of environment, like this person is definitely around you. Um, you might be friends first, or maybe you're going to have to kind of keep it like friends until whatever this drama is settles down or, or is, um, or keep up appearances of being friends until whatever this drama is settles down or is resolved. This person is going to reach out. I mean, we do have double page of swords to let you know how they feel, that they're thinking of you, that they're missing you. Um, you know, that, you know, they want to, they want, I just keep hearing they want to advance this connection or they want to move this connection forward. Okay, so let's see. Clear messages and guidance. What else do we need to know about this connection? What else do we need to know about this connection? What do my Aries need to know about this connection? Okay, so a lot of you, this we get double marriage. So I do feel uh, maybe somebody here is married. The Ten of Swords is one of my divorce cards. So again, they may be in the process of getting a divorce. But a lot of you, you are going to end up in a higher level of commitment with this person whose spirit saying is a destined partner. But there is somebody obsessing here, and I kind of feel like it's whatever that third party energy is. And someone is secretly yearning for you. So this person has way deeper feelings for you, Aries, than you than you even know. All right. So let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my Aries. What else do they need to know? Time apart. Some of you, you can't be together until whatever this is, is resolved. Again, they might have a really nasty ex here or somebody that, you know, if they, if they, you know, according to the court of law, if they find out that you're, you know, this person is dealing with you, it could have dire consequences for them. 
Um, a lot of you, you're in separation from this person, or like I said, this person is separated, but they've got that drama around them. This person may tease you a lot, like in a good way, you know, bringing like laughter and fun to the connection. Um, the energy is fun and lighthearted, but it's also uncertain. So a lot of my Aries, I think you're probably really uncertain about what to do in this connection or at this time with this person because of this external party or this external energy that I'm picking up on here. But it does look like there's a really positive, really powerful connection or the possibility of one between you and this person. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here, Aries. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.